What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about players quitting ESO because of all the changes that happen so often in the game. And this has been a complaint for as long as I can remember. Of course, you know, I've been playing here on console since release day. Uh, I know people on PC have been complaining about this. So you look at for the last six, seven years, uh, whether you play on console or PC, people have been kind of upset with how Zoss handles their updates. We're usually getting four major updates a year that change a lot of stuff. And people have said in the past they wish that Zoss would only make major changes to gear and armor and things. Unless it's a bug or something's broken, they wish they would only make these big changes maybe only once or twice a year. Because it sometimes feels a bit overwhelming. Now, I've always understood why a lot of newer players stop playing the game. Because for the simple fact of you feel like you can never catch up. Uh, it, it's hard to do when you're trying to farm all this gear. But it's become an issue lately with a lot of veteran players. A lot of veteran players have kind of become tired of how many updates we have year in and year out. Now, not everyone in the community feels this way. Some people don't mind the grind, and I get that. I understand both sides, really, of why some people don't mind it and some people absolutely hate it. I understand some people don't mind the grind. They go out and can grind all this stuff out. If you've played for a really long time, a lot of gear you probably already have you know, in a box somewhere or in your bank or whatever the case may be where you can just swap things out easily. But a lot of people are getting frustrated because they spend time and in-game currency that they make to buy gold material to make items gold and those things get nerfed and they're useless and they feel like they kind of wasted their gold and their materials for a good or a good example of this is diamonds victory a lot of people are upset that diamonds victory is getting nerfed again because they made their jewelry gold and gold material for jewelry is really expensive personally unless i buy something from a trader that's already gold when it comes to jewelry i never gold out my jewelry just because it is so expensive and if it does get nerfed uh, it's kind of a waste and it's going to sit there until something happens and it may or may not get buffed again, whoever knows. But like I said, I do get both sides of the, where the community is coming from. I get where, you know, there's a lot of players out there that like to grind out things, they already have a lot of things, they really don't have to worry about grinding out. But I do get where newer players are coming from and people that don't get to play a lot. You might be a veteran, you only still get to play, you know, a couple hours a day or on the weekends or you know, just a couple hours a week. And you feel like you're always kind of lagging behind when it comes to getting new gear, changing out all the stuff you have, getting all the new stuff that you need, getting it all, you know, golded out, purpled out, whatever, the, whatever you got to do. I do feel like, uh, I do understand why people feel like they're just kind of left behind and they finally just get kind of frustrated with the game and stop playing because they feel like they never can have the sets they need because the time they get them or, you know, by the time they have everything they need, it's already changed. And the good thing about the game is you don't have to run those meta sets. A lot of those meta sets that get changed and nerfed and buffed from update to update are just sets that you need if you're like a hardcore in-game you know trials player you're playing on the highest difficulty doing speed runs no death runs all that stuff that's where a lot of that stuff comes in handy because you're trying to maximize your dps your healing your tanking whatever you're doing but for a lot of the other stuff in the game you don't have necessarily have to have these meta sets but i do get why people think they do because that's what you hear everyone talk about when it comes to youtube videos streamers on, on twitch uh, reading on the forums, people are talking about these meta sets and a lot of people think they need them and they need them, you know, golded out and all that good stuff. Unfortunately, that's just kind of how it is. And people kind of see it that way that you got to have all of this when you don't necessarily have to, but in general, I do get why people are kind of upset and start to leave the game, whether you're a new player or a veteran player alike. Uh, and you just get kind of tired with all these updates. Me personally, I think there are too many updates uh, just in general because it changes so much stuff and you have to test so much stuff. That's one reason I don't do builds here on the channel. It's just way too much testing and doing things. And I do other videos for other games as well. I just don't really have the time to change everything out and test it, you know, from update to update. If I did, that's pretty much all I'd ever be doing. But I, I feel like they should kind of tone down these updates some. I don't really hate it because, you know, the grind doesn't really bother me. But at the same time, I do understand, like I said, why some people cannot stand it. Because they just do not have the time to be able to, you know, keep kind of, or be able to keep caught up. Uh, I, I kind of said that way wrong, but you kind of understand what I mean. They don't have, a, they don't have the time or the energy to stay caught up with everything uh, that's going on in the game and all the changes they need to make uh, from update to update. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course, the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.